go and get in here. Hello. And I've been working more on Hangdown. Um, trying to make the uh, the entrance and the shape of the town. And as you can see, I've made like a giant uh, a giant gate here. Um, I didn't really plan it out as I usually don't plan things out. I just built it and then it turned out like this. And I'm uh, pretty happy with how it came out. And as you can see, you've got the uh, you've got the green and uh, green and brown go uh, color scheme going on there. And there's a uh, I just fly along so you can see it a bit better, all the detailing. I still have to do more detail, but um, I think this will do for now. That's kind of like supposed to be a tree, but there wasn't enough space to do it properly, so it kind of failed. But yeah, if you go along the top, this is how it looks. So you've got like the uh, stone brick stairs going that way and that way. Like I said, I didn't plan all of this out, it's just. Uh, it's just how it um, came out. And when you go into the town, and I'm still not sure whether I want uh, the entire thing flat or whether to have, just have little trails and houses everywhere, you come in, you've got the uh, back of the gate there, which still needs to be detailed. Uh, you've got like a nice natural looking uh, wood path here. I tried to do like a uh, custom custom tree over here, just add like another leaf there, which I think came out okay, I can always improve these this stuff later, and I've got another tree over here, which was in the first episode, but you might not have seen it, uh, that's how this one's come out so far, and, um, I haven't really done much in here, but I have tried to do a possible design of the houses. I was originally I was going to do like Hobbit style hill houses, but then I kind of thought that for the castle especially, you couldn't really end up with a giant hill, as that would look pretty stupid. I still haven't decided whether to do them like that or whether to kind of keep them in this kind of style. So you see like you've got uh, you've got the stone brick, but you've also got a lot of wood and oak leaves. I haven't really done any design, that was just like a you've got the bed, you could have some books around, but I'm not really sure what I could put in here. I think uh, I was going to do like a little uh, a little like a table area up here or something, a little reading area. But I'm not sure whether to make the houses two stories regardless, just so there's a bit more room to uh, put stuff in. And if we... Actually, I'll go along here because you can see some of the alterations I've made. Like if I go along here... There aren't many up here, it's mainly up there that I've been and the, uh, the gate over there that I've been uh, working on. But there are tiny alterations. So you've got your nice uh, nice heavy door here. And this room especially looks a lot nicer now. Got like different like... I, I, I can't really explain like, it's, it's just meant to be like, you know, just some books everywhere, but I've made it look a bit more interesting. And kind of like in other places, I've got like imagine like roots growing through the ceiling. So if we continue walking along this place, not much has changed in this area. This spring looks sign, I've got to put that somewhere better. But like, uh, and I still have to raise that flag. But if we go along here, you can see that um, well, I've made some new giant plants, uh, like this one here. Could just uh, no, actually that won't work. So I'm just like resisting the urge to fiddle with things. So yeah, you've got the uh, nice blue flower there. I changed the design of because if you saw before, there was like a lava thing with like uh, 
green and brown grass in front, which was trying to represent a tree, but it didn't come out looking the way I wanted it to, so I kind of erased it and put that there just for the time being. But you can see that I, I've made alterations to the other flowers, and I think they look a lot better than they did originally. Like that one, for example. So the leaves kind of uh, uh, curve a bit more than they did before. And you have like this nice orange one here. And then if I go on the side, uh, this was supposed to be a giant rose, but it's, I'm finding it like really hard to make one of those. Like, because the kind of... I can't really explain it. If you've seen a rose, you know what I mean. Like, the petals are kind of all bunched together. Then I was trying to simulate that with, like, the different stained clay for, the, like, the dividing lines, but it's it's really hard to do. But one of the... Oh, yeah. That tower... There, there might be a tower there, but I have to decide. But one of the new areas is this, like, a uh, lookout here. I might make, like, a staircase all the way around the side going up or something so you can eventually get to the top but there's a nice little sitting area here you've got a little waterfall with a uh, leaf arch overhang thing and you got um, I made like another like crystal here I had like some sort of idea that maybe um, the different colored crystals kind of um, kind of like the energy comes from them and like it like attracts to each other basically, which is what you can see here. So you get uh, bits of energy coming off, and it's like trying to join with the this purple crystal uh, right here. But like, uh, and yeah, you kind of get a look out from here if you jump. <laughs> I was gonna just like leave it like that, uh, so you get a bit more view, but um. Yeah, I, I like the way it's come out so far. Let's put a bit more grass there. And as you can see, that's all connecting. There's like a... Whenever you get near a crystal, because I kind of had the idea of these, like, with the fuel for... Like, producing nature energy. So whenever you see one of these crystals, you'll notice that, like, the vines and that might get, like, a lot thicker near them as opposed to other places but like uh and also I've started putting like a uh, like the um because there is a tree above I've started trying to put like uh, um roots coming out from there like if I fly up here you should be able to see what I'm doing I originally planned to have a tower here but um I thought maybe tree could be there instead I still haven't decided I could make a tower there but um I'm happy with uh, how some alterations and changes like this for example have come out but um, I know I can still do better and this as someone else said is quite a bit bigger project to undertake so but it's, it's fun. It gives me practice um, building as well. And um, I can only get better from here. So, uh, this is the kind kitten, guys, in uh, developing Springbrook. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!